The UNBC Timberwolves and Regina Cougars. The T-Wolves coming into this one with a loss and a tie on the season thus far. Well, Regina, one win and one loss. Now, through 20 minutes, not much to talk about, but UNBC starts pressing the action. Fifth year Kylie Herb, she's going to snake her way through the Cougars defense, and she decides to test keeper Kylie Bolton here. She beats Bolton with an absolute blast, but she can't beat the crossbar. A scramble ensues in front, but the T-Wolves can't convert. This game's still scoreless. We move now to the 29th minute. Here come the T-Wolves once again, but I'll hand this one off to UNBC play-by-play -play guy, Brendan Pollard. Body's a doubt, she's got a step. Jones waits, crosses over, has Payne in front, and it's a goal! Paige, Payne, her third of the year, and it's 1-0 UNBC. The first UNBC women's soccer goal ever at Massage Place Stadium. It's Paige Payne, the pride of Kitimat, BC. Sophia Jones finds PP7 and she makes it 1-0 with her third of the season. Just two minutes later, more from the home side. Madison Emin on a free kick from about 25 yards out. The Prince George product with an absolute banger here, but again, that trusty crossbar behind Bolton proving to be a thorn in the UNBC side. Let's take another look as this one has serious pace on it and just inches away from making it a two-goal game. But at the 42-minute mark, Emmond on another free kick looking to extend the Timberwolves' lead. Emmond gets it into the middle for McCleary, gets a header on it, and it's a goal! Mara McCleary pitches in, and it's 2-0 Timberwolves! Mara McCleary, an elite defender in the Canada West, she gets her head on it. That's the first goal of her three-year career at UNBC, and the Victoria native makes it 2-0 in favour of the T-Wolves. They pile onto their centre back in a major celebration. But the Cougars do keep pushing back in the final minute of the first half. Off a great corner here from Angela Lalonde. A mad scramble in front of keeper Brooke Mulby who's throwing her body in every direction possible. Regina poking away at it as we take another look. It's the reigning Canada West second star of the week. Kira Vibert with probably the best chance. But Mulby, the sophomore goalie, keeping it out. And we head to the second half with UNBC up a pair. In the 52nd minute, the speedy Sophia Jones is going to get a great ball here from the captain, Emmond, and she'll do the rest. Onside, we got a two-on-one. It's Jones. Jones, quick kick. He scores! She scores! Sophia Jones, and it's 3-0 UNBC. The native of San Francisco, California, streaks in, uses those jets, and the Bay Area burner pots her second of the campaign past Bolton. It's a 3-0 game in Prince George in front of a pretty satisfied crowd at Massage Place Stadium. But Bob Maltman's team won't go away that easy. In minute number 64 off a Cougars run, the Timberwolves are called for a foul after the ball hits the hand of a sprawled-out defender, Lydia Leving. So a penalty kick is awarded. Nikita Senko tapped to take this one. Keeper Brooke Mulby is actually going to guess correctly, but a great shot by Sanko does beat the native of Squamish. Sanko scores her second career goal, getting Regina on the board, making it 3-1 with 25 minutes remaining. But that's as close as the visitors would come. The UNBC Timberwolves top the Regina Cougars to improve to 1-1-1 one, one, and one on the year. Well, the Cougars drop to 1-2-0 and oh on the Canada West season. We came into today like knowing their formation, knowing how they played. Um, I just think it was a matter of our communication and uh, making sure we're moving as a group, which we needed to be do better today. We do use video and watch, you know, how they play and whatnot. So we, uh, we're doing that all week and uh, yeah, so maybe we'll see them again in playoffs. We have back-to-back -back games, so we basically just have to keep, po keep a positive mindset and um, go into uh, Sunday's game, you know, confident and strong that we're going to come out with a win. I kind of got the first year jitters out and then uh, second year I kind of just worked really hard and then through the summers and our team's just coming together and I think it's just uh, uh, us as a whole are coming together and it's just allowing them to give me balls through and we need some attack so we're getting in there. A win like this one's really good for us because we came out last weekend and we tried our hardest. We had a lot of attacking chances but we didn't get out with the outcomes we wanted and now this weekend on our home turf it was really good to get uh, the three points. I think that we uh, worked really hard for them.